Good morning. Welcome, everyone, to America's Agent Training WebEx. I'm the Senior Sales and Training Specialist here at America. My name is Stacey Gear. We're very glad that you could join us today for our training. We've got some exciting news to share with you today. Our topic for training is email signature. It's now available for our Eagle Premier Series, which um, is, is our final expense solution that you can submit by e-application. And the other exciting news is I've got um, I've got our national sales director, Carson Giebert, is actually going to help us uh, with this training today. So we've got a lot of valuable information to share with you. Before we get started, I just want to mention a, a few housekeeping reminders. If you're new to AmeriCo's training, we welcome your participation. So there is a chat box. If any questions come, come to mind throughout the presentation, go ahead and enter those into the chat box and we'll address those throughout the presentation at the end. We also would uh, love the opportunity to coordinate any one-on-one -on -one support that you need to meet and exceed your goals in the first and second quarter. So there is a five-question survey at the end of the presentation. We would uh, value your feedback if you could take a moment to complete that. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the presentation over to our new National Sales Director, Carson Giebert. Good morning, everyone. I'm very, very excited to introduce our brand new feature for our Eagle eApp, um, the um, email signature. And um, without further ado, I think we really want to show you how the system actually works. I know we've had a lot of um, presentations um, here where we talked it through, but I think we haven't actually showed you the entire system from start to finish and uh, would like to actually walk you through this. And then afterwards, we'll talk about product, features, and a few other things. While Stacy is pulling this up, maybe quickly just as an over, overall overview, right now about 80% um, of our final expense application are coming um, through um, our Instant Decision Eagle platform. Um, a year back, um, a lot of you have still um, written a lot of our UP paper application, which we still have and, and still love for you to continue to submit, but there has been a significant switch over to our Eagle uh, application. Uh, what you see here currently on the screen is what we call sales connection. And the first thing I would like you to do is actually write down the demo site. We have a brand new demo site. It's called Sales Connection, scdemo.america.com. It's a site where you can start playing uh, with the, the Eagle E application and, and really get a feel for it and how to submit it and specifically now trying out that new email feature on it. Um, so once you're logged in, it's the same login as you would have for our regular um, sales connection production site. You, you can see all your cases you're working on here on the open case site. You can run any illustration from here. In addition to quote.america.com, you can run any um, illustration for all our products right here. Um, and then we have this e-app feature here where our brand new e-app is on. So once you, for example, click on that, um, let's assume we have a 60-year-old um, female in Missouri. Let's make it a female here. And click on Eagle Premier Series. And you will see that e-app coming up. For those of you who have, have uh, used it before, it becomes very familiar. It is as simple as that. Your goal in this entire e-application is to turn these red circles into green check marks. And that's about 10, 11 screens to go through. How to turn this is really filling out everything in yellow and everything in white is nice to have. So the required fields are in yellow. So for example, if you type in here your agent number, your agent name would populate here we'll have a test case. Um, and then you go through, you sit in front of your client and saying, oh, here I'm talking to Carsten Gabert. And as you see, the red circle turned into a green check mark. Um, you answer the, the owner question, is the person should also going to the, be the owner? Oftentimes it is. You need a mailing address, obviously, and you go through it. You just talk it through with your customer while typing it into our e-platform. And we require um, 
requires six years of address proof. Why six years? In the end, we need to tie this individual to an identity because we're running prescription MIB check here in, in, a, in a few minutes. And that's really the core to this NTIE application is within a few minutes, we'll run this MIB and prescription authorization and give you an answer and actually giving you a conditional policy number here within a few minutes. Let's assume your client has lived for six years. Um, we do need a social security number. Here, the state of birth, let's type in again, we would like to have the city, the country, and so on, but again, everything required is in yellow, and we move on. Again, you see that beautiful um, green circle. Owner question, who, again, who owns it? Here we assume it's in short. Um, you need one single beneficiary to, to go through it. You can add as many as you want. But let's assume here there's a child, and, um, Call it Katie. So, so Katie Gabert, and she'll get 100% of the proceeds here. And the relationship is a child. You can, as, as I said, you can add as many as, as you want. Let's assume you would have a second child here. Another pop-up window is as simple as it is. The proceeds always have to be 100%. So I would change since your client loves their children equally to so 50% each. Assume the second child's name is Peter. And we have another child. So we have the bennies. You can add contingent beneficiaries here, but you don't have to. And this is the quote. I think you have quoted before actually getting to the point. I'm sure you were sitting in front of your client, has gone through the pricing. But let's assume here we are applying for $10,000 Eagle Premier, so level day one benefit. Um, so 10,000, we will do um, bank draft. Um, is day of the week drafting requested? A relatively new feature you've been asking for so long, saying obviously in this market, a lot is tied to social security and um, the social security checks don't come in always on the first of the month or the last of the month or the 15th of the month. They're normally tied depending on your last name, um, the first letter of your last name to either the f second, third or fourth Wednesday of the month. So. Let's assume here, yes, you would like to um, draft every second Wednesday of the month starting here on the 9th of March, and you can change that date at any time or to any date you would like. Um, the smoker question, has the proposal should smoke cigarettes within the last 12 months? Here we assume no, and as you know, um, our America's um, smoker definition is cigarette and e-cigarettes only. So. So cigar smoke is okay, chewing tobacco is okay. So specifically has to propose and should smoke cigarettes and e-cigarettes or e-cigarettes in the last 12 months. Let's assume that is a no here. Um, you need to fill on the height and weight. Um, we have about eight tables built in that product, very generous height and weight chart. So for example, a, a five, nine or six um, foot individual can weigh as little as 112 pounds and as much as 314 pounds. So let's assume here your individual would, would weigh 290 pounds, and you will see this will actually go through. So you calculate the payment, and here it is, $38.46 months for a 60-year-old female in Missouri. Um, it is a, a very, very competitive quote, which also includes um, accidental death benefit. A great feature we have on this product called um, automatic premium loans. In the end, it taps into any cash value if your, your client would miss a payment, and you definitely want to turn that on. Kirsten, can I interrupt for just yes. a second? Um, we've got someone that, that said that the sound went out, and so real quickly, let me just put something in the chat box here. Oh, okay. Let me see here. I want to make sure for those of them. Perfect. There Perfect. It sounds like audio is back on. So we were just talking about the feature called automatic premium loans. And again, you want to turn this on. It doesn't cost any anything for your customers. And you want to turn that on. So this is the core to all of this. As I said, if I wouldn't have talked and explained, this would have taken you three to four minutes to get to this point. At this point here, we'll ask the authorization to run MIB and prescription from your client. In the end, we'll run all the prescription database, we look at the MIB, and if it's a go, that means the likelihood that this will be approved is very, very high. 
So we haven't asked any health question. We have, didn't take any payment information. But we'll run this, this, this MIB prescription check in the end to give you a very good indication um, if this is a go or not. So here, you sign the authorization, and this is now where we added the email signing to it. In the past, if you're familiar with this, there's tablet signing where in the end you sit with your iPad, you turn it around, um, you let your client um, um, sign um, directly on the tablet with a stylus or the finger. Now you can actually email um, the signing. In the end, you, you type in an email address, um, type in the email address of your client. There's a link sent to them immediately. Um, it's actually beautifully displayed on a smartphone. Um, and then um, at that current point, if he does it, um, the same pop-up will, will come up as you've been used to. So at this point, so he clicks on the email link, DocuSign will come up for your client. Again, can be on a smartphone, as long as there's an email address attached to it. So here you, you consent um, and and here you sign. So again, this, this can be signed by your client in the and it's now available through email. So you don't have to sit in front of them anymore. You can call your client, walk to the application, you type it in, you email out um, the, the link, um, your, your, your client signs it and sends it back. So it's as simple as that. And the signature appears. And you finish the case. Here's the signature complete. The, the beautiful thing, you, you cannot go on um, if something is missing, so it always prevents you from, from moving on. Here it is, and the underwriting check just came back. The underwriting check is complete based on the proposed. Here, I read it again. Underwriting check is complete based on the proposed insured's height and weight and the results from the MIB and prescription check. The proposed insured qualifies for the level death benefit up to the amount of $30,000. Continue asking the health questions. So think about this. Again, without talking, it's supposed to be three to four minutes. At this point, since you wouldn't even be with your client, you would have called them up. If it's a go, you continue asking the health question, you go through the replacement question, the health question, take the payment information, do your agent statement, and you're done. If it's a no, and for example, you would sit with your client, you say, do you not, maybe there's, you can switch it over to the guaranteed product. But if some of the guaranteed product would be too pricey and you're not in that space or your client can't afford it, you think, you know what, pull out the competitor app. You're still with your client. Um, you, you haven't left the home, you actually ran MIB in prescription, that meaning you have good indication about the health. So if it's a yes, obviously continue this. Um, it is instant decision, instant mailing. It goes out that, that same day. If it's done before three o'clock, if the draft day is the next day, you will be paid. But if it's a no, you haven't lost the sale. At that point, you can say, Do you know what, take out your Transamerica app or Forrester app or any of the, the others you have in your portfolio. And again, we never want you to lose the sale because you're leading with America. So again, we said this is this is good to go here. We are um, we are not approved, but conditionally approved. By the way, here's the policy number AM 13054722. Um, the replacement question. Again, you, you don't find too many replacement true replacements here, so let's assume there's no replacement here. And then you go through the health question. There's 11 questions um, total broken down into small conversational style, and you just go through them one by one. Have you, been, have you ever been diagnosed, treated, tested positive, or been given medical advice or prescribed medication by a member of the medical profession for? Then you go through it, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, memory loss, muscular dystrophy. We even tell you how to pronounce this, or ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And you just go through them one by one. These are knockout questions. And maybe I'll just interrupt, Carson, if you don't mind. 
Um, so this is if they have clients that want to qualify for the Eagle Premier level product, but if they already, they've maybe pre-qualified their client and they have some issues, or maybe you have a client that doesn't want to answer any of these questions, you can go quickly, you can just offer them the uh, Eagle Premier guaranteed product, correct? Exactly. So at this current point, if there's any yeses here, um, you would go back to the, the product information, switch it over to guaranteed, which erases all the health question, and you proceed without um, those health questions. So um, great, great point, Stacey. So if there would be a yes, which again, the likelihood is not very high since we run prescription MIB, um, you can still offer the guaranteed product. So you go through them again, 11 question total. Um, if you're familiar, for example, with our ultra protector um, um, questions, we have uh, eliminated question seven or, or 11, which is the combination question between diabetes and other major medical illnesses. So um, it is a very, very aggressive app. Uh, overall, the look back period um, is, is, look at the look back periods in the last 12 months, the last 24 months. So look, take a look at the look back period in comparison to UP and some of the other competitors. So overall, a very, very aggressive um, underwriting piece. Then, then you just take banking information. So who's going to be the payer? Here it's the client itself. Is it a business account? No, we need private accounts. We'll be using checking or saving. Let's do a checking here. We test for routing number. Um, so that's a, 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 vet, a test and see if that's a true routing number involved. So let's assume here we use Bank of America. It comes up, so you'd have a test there. Um, make sure you get the right account number. And you'll see the payment, um, the first initial draft Day, it's the 9th of March, the initial premium of 38.46, and recurring monthly drafts on every second Wednesday of the eve months for 38.46. You go through it. This is your own agent statement, something you fill out, not your, not the proposed insured. Are you related to the proposed insured? Then you wouldn't be. Most of the times you're not. How long have you known the proposed? So oftentimes you just met them. Um, did the, applic the applicant approach you to purchase insurance? Most likely, I send a lead card, and then any comments you want to make. And um, is there any existing life to the, the, the replacement question? And that obviously has to align your phone number, your address, your email address. And then if you want to split the case with somebody, and I'm sure you want to, since you worked on it, do it yourself. <laughs> uh, okay, and here's truly the last finishing piece. Is, again, here we have that email signing available to you. Um, these are the final last signatures around uh, on the application before it's really mailed out. Um, again, you go through them. And at this point, you would send the email. Again, it pops up either on the smartphone or their computer. You go through again. You agree to the electronic. And it guides you actually to the application through all the signatures you have to take. And here you sign again, or your client signs. And as simple as that, and that happens this exactly the same way when you email the signature out as well. And you just have to have the city and state. And that should do it. And you finish it. Again, your client would have finished this piece. It updates here in a second. And here it comes. Now you as the agent has, has to sign as well, so the same piece. So you give your last signatures here as an agent. And for the agent, actually, it adopts the signature. You only really have to sign once. And, and it fills out the rest of the signatures automatically. One more signature here. Okay. Oops. So if you've done this before, it, it actually notes your signature as an agent and will will pre-populate it.
and you finish it. At this point, again, it updates here. You will either submit the case or you withdraw the case. But at this point, you're absolutely done. You see the policy number here. We collected, and here's updating. Again, at this point, you will submit the case or withdraw it. At this point, your client is insured, by the way. One of the most powerful things, this is not a conditional um, in, in insurance. This is, this is insured at this current point. So if your client would get hit by a bus two minutes later, um, it would be covered, even though if we would future date um, the policy, since we collected um, banking information and underwrote this product, it, it's, a, it's a insured, your client is insured and is covered. So very, very powerful to say, by the way, your loved ones are, are covered here in, in the case of death. But this is it. There's nothing to submit afterwards. As I said, if the effective date would be the next date, you would be paid that night. Um, there's no amendments. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to submit. And now we added for you the, 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 the opportunity, not doing this just face-to-face -face with the tablet, but also um, that you are in control. You, you, you go through the app, send out the email, and get the signature through that. I wanted to show it to you. Um, about eight out of ten applications are getting approved um, level. Actually, 7.8 out of 10 are getting approved level. So it's a very high likelihood. I mentioned there's accidental death benefit included in the product. Um, actually, doubles in the case of accident and triples if it happened to be on a as a fair paying passenger. So it's a very powerful product. Again, eight tables, very very competitive. And I think there's nothing better than taking four or five minutes of your time, seeing if you get approved, and if it's a yes, going through it. Um, very competitive um, commissions, but if it's a no, we never want you to lose a sale because you are leading with America. With that, I will um, switch it back over to Stacy. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Carson. Wow, you made it sound so easy and went through this so quickly. Um, if we go back and look to the left-hand side of the various steps. There's approximately 11 steps, and they're all, <clears throat> they've um, all turned green, as Carson mentioned. And uh, so some of the reasons to uh, implement this practice management idea, it would be to help, you know, to help reduce business that comes to AmeriCo in good order. Um, as Carson mentioned, uh, there's no phone calls to make. You um, will experience, uh, it'll help improve your placement ratio, your persistency with the day of the week drafting. And, um, real, you know, real quickly, we've uh, turned all of these green, so it's a fail-proof, goof-proof system to, um, to submit business in good order that uh, will save you a lot of time. One other thing that I thought I would mention, there's the uh, print button here where you can actually print the, the documents out. Um, we also have made it very easy. There's, if you click on the blue tab at the top, there is all of the, the various state-specific forms that are packaged together for you. So again, AmeriCo has uh, delivered innovative pro competitive products, uh, processes, and systems to help you increase your, your revenue and uh, profitability. And, and lastly, just uh, it's more importantly to give you back valuable time to do what you do best, and that's to stay in front of more to more clients. So I'm going to just maybe go back and um, see here. Let's take a look at the, the presentation. And also we have some questions that came into the chat box. And there are some um, questions that I will reach out to you as a follow-up to this presentation. I will provide everyone with a comprehensive agent guide and some follow-up material, the most popular items for the Eagle Premier Series, uh, so that you have everything you need to get started. So, so we definitely encourage you to go out to the demo site and take a test drive so that you feel fully confident, comfortable as you do submitting a paper application. You can uh, run the Eagle Premier Series on yourself or others. The demo site is scdemo.americo.com. And here we've got some of the reasons why it, it just uh, makes sense. And I know Carson's already he's done an excellent job of sharing uh, the various reasons um, that provide you that instant decision at the point of sale. No paperwork, no amendments. The policy is going to be typically mailed out the next business day to your client and commissions uh, get you're paid daily. 
We want to mention for the e-application process, there is, uh, there is some state availability to keep in mind. So uh, the Eagle Premier Series and the e-application process is currently available in all states. Uh, however, it's not approved in Mississippi and the Virgin Islands. For the guarantee product, it's been approved in all states except for Arkansas, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Pennsylvania, Washington, and then the Virgin Islands. So just, just keep that in mind, and if you do have any questions, uh, let us know how we can help you. And to access Sales Connection, real quickly, quickly I want to uh, mention, you can go out to www.americo.com and log in to the agent portal, or for quick access at the top of the page, you'll see there's a link, Sales Connection link. And if you've not created an account on americo.com, there is a link at the bottom of the page, create new account link. Just It's very simple to create your account and enter a few pieces of information, your agent name. You do need to be fully contracted with Americo and we need a valid uh, mailing address. And then we've already we've covered these pieces of information. I won't go through that. And then there was another uh, question that came into the chat box. Can this process be done over the telephone? So there's two ways to submit the Eagle Premier uh, products. You can either submit by the e-application process for an instant decision. There's also the tele-application process, and that's where we would collect a verbal signature. Uh, the comprehensive agent guide that I'll share with everyone, it'll be in a PDF version in the back of the guide. It'll provide you with a step-by-step -step process to submit an e-application, and then it'll also have the tele-application if you prefer. Today we're covering in detail the e-application process uh, where you can face-to-face -face do a tablet signing method, or as Karsten introduced, we have a new method where you do not have to be in front of your client. You can actually email your client, and they can electronically sign through their email. Yeah, so that's really the core point. And thank you again for the, for the question. Um, it's saying yes. So it, this enables you to do the sale over the phone in two different ways. It enables you to completely by yourself, through the tablet, emailing out um, that signature. Without seeing your client, you can do this. You can also, as you always been able to do also call us and call our um, call center here and we can walk this through you. But so you have now two ways to submit this without um, seeing a, a client directly. Call us and we'll do it for you or you send out the email signature and get the email signatures through it. So it, a brand new way to do it and, and absolutely if there's snow, if you can't get out or um, can't see the client face to face, it's the way to do it. Great. Thank, thank you very much for the question. Yes, yeah, excellent questions. We love the participation. There's another one regarding state availability for the accidental death benefit rider in Pennsylvania. Currently, it does not look like um, the accidental death benefit rider is not available for the Eagle Premier level product in the, in the state of Pennsylvania, but I will confirm that. So, and, and if there is a change to that, I, I will definitely let you know. So great questions today, Karsten. Um, the, what we're looking at here on the screen is an example of what the application looks like once it's been completed. If you desire to print it off, save it to your computer. As you can see, it's very legible. It's all in good order. This, uh, this goes a long way to, to help with your placement ratio and speed to issue. A couple other things that I want to mention, uh, how you can quote our Eagle Premier products. The, the quickest way, or and one of the action steps that I would like everyone to take for, for uh, with this training is to go ahead and bookmark in your phone quote.americo.com. There's no W's before that. It's just uh, quote.americo.com. This will put the power in your pocket. Uh, it, it allows for greater mobility. So if you don't have your iPad with you, uh, if you don't have um, a laptop, you still, if you are meeting with a client, you have quick access to quote our Eagle Premier product, and it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then Sales Connection, of course, that is AmeriCo's illustration and quoting software, and uh, that's, that's also another way that you can 
quickly quote our products. So again, we want to thank you for your participation in this training today. I have a couple other things just to share. We have some excellent training for the month of March, so we uh, we hope that you can come back and join us. If you would uh, go out to the agent portal on americo.com under the uh, event center, you can register for the future trainings. On, on March 2nd, we have Medicare Supplement, and we've got an entirely new mortgage portfolio. So please take a look at the training that's coming up in March. We also have recorded trainings on americo.com a whole menu of various topics, and to access those, you would just click on Resource Center, then click on Online Training Recordings, and those are available. We have a couple more questions. Um, just to clarify, yes, that product is also available 100% via the phone. So you can call us, call us at 855-248-8327, three-way call, and we'll just do this for you, the entire process. So you have great questions, so you can do it 100% over the phone also. You can do it yourself, email it out, or you can just call us and, and can have a three-way um, phone call um, with us. Excellent question. Quote.americo.com, let's see. There's some, someone that's having maybe an issue with that. So I definitely encourage you, if you are having an issue with quote.americo.com or Sales Connection or any of the information that Carson and I have covered with you today, please reach out to our sales support team. We have a very seasoned sales, sales support team. They're always happy to help you. You can reach them at 800-231-0801, and we can identify and help you with your specific uh, situation. The number, uh, I think, Carson, they want to repeat the number for the verbal teleapplication. Yep. For the teleapplication, it's 855-248-8327, 855-248-8327. Okay. So I think that we've answered everything in the chat box. Um, there was one question again about Pennsylvania. So just to clarify, in Pennsylvania, you can do the Eagle E app is available in Pennsylvania. The Taylor app is not. Um, again, there's some specific state regulation, but you can write the uh, Eagle E app in Pennsylvania. So that is is absolutely a go. Just can't do the Taylor app in Pennsylvania, but you can write it in um, in um, through the E app. It does not have the accidental death benefit included, but you can write um, the EAP in Pennsylvania. Great question. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for a fantastic start into the year. Uh, um, our January and February have been outstanding because of all what you do. We really appreciate um, everything you do for us. Um, give us a, a chance. Continue um, writing us. And as I said, we never want you to to, to lose the sale because you're leading with America. Have a fantastic day and we'll speak soon. Thank you everyone.